Hey guys, Lane here with RV Wholesalers. I uh, want to get a walkthrough here for you on the 2021 Palomino Puma 28 RKQS. Interior of this uh, specific unit you're going to be looking at here is going to be slate. Um, you're also going to have the 11 cubic foot residential refrigerator here as well. So a lot of cool features. Some of the specs here on this unit, your dry weight, you're looking at 7,253 pounds. The GVWR, you're looking at 8,800 pounds, given that the carrying capacity of 1,547 pounds. Uh, you're also looking at a hitch weight of roughly 870 pounds, axle weight of 6,345 pounds. Exterior height on this guy is 11 foot 1 inch. Exterior length from tongue to bumper is 34 foot 5 inches. Exterior width with the side closed is 8 foot. And now for your uh, water capacities, you're looking for the fresh water, it's 43 gallons. Gray water, 69 gallons, and black water is 35 gallons. And your total awning size is 21 foot. Hey guys, Lane here with RV Wholesalers, doing another walkthrough video here for you. We're gonna be doing this one here on the 2021 Puma. This is gonna be the 28 RKQS, all right? So um, to start it off right up front here, guys, uh, new updated power stabilizer jack. Looks like it's got some D-ring hookups uh, for, your, uh, for your chains. 30 pound tank up top, that is an option though, okay? Make sure you check your options. As I always state in all my videos, check your options, make sure that what you're getting is what you're seeing, okay? Obviously, this is gonna be a big one, okay? If it came with 20 pound tanks and you're expecting 30 pound tanks, I'd imagine I'd be pretty frustrated too. So double check your options before you place an order with anybody, okay? Especially right now, guys, in the industry, we need to make sure that we're price protecting all right, make sure that you're talking to a dealership, not just writing them a blank check saying, hey, order it, I'll pay whatever you want when it comes in. They hide it in those terms and conditions, guys. So be careful what you're signing, all right? Saying something along the lines of manufacturer increase, something along the lines of uh, surcharge, uh, whatever it is, guys, if the price is gonna change from the day that you sign, do not sign. You're signing a blank check. So just don't do it, all right? Just don't do it. Swinging around here, you got my little spiel about price protection. Obviously, it's important to me, but to continue on with the video, needless to say, uh, we're gonna have um, pass-through storage underneath here. Plenty of room for the pass-through storage um, on this particular unit. Again, it's got the electric power package, so you're gonna notice we got the electric stabilizer jacks on this guy. Um, in terms of awning, guys, huge awning that covers almost the entire side of the camper with the LED light strip down underneath it. Um, exterior also, we're gonna have the solid surface steps. Um, you're gonna have an additional outlet hookup over here. Um, we got some lights from the exterior speakers, kind of a cool feature that they've been throwing in there. Uh, fresh water connection as well as our hot water heater. Now, additional storage if you don't want to have the outside kitchen, all right? This guy right here will come with a 1.6 cubic foot refrigerator. If you opt into it, the people that ordered this one said, no, I'm good. I like the storage. So they got the storage. No outside fridge, cooktop, or um, little table platform, okay? so. That's kind of what that is gonna come with if you don't go with the outside fridge, all right? On the back side here, guys, spare tire. Um, we got this particular unit is 50 amp service with prep for second AC. Um, this particular unit, um, again, is gonna have the 50 amp power cord coming off the back. We have backup camera prep, exterior ladder, um, and that's gonna be the outside, guys. Let's go step inside. All right, guys, now we're on the inside here of, again, that Palomino Puma 28 RKQS. Um, a lot of cool features, a lot of cool gadgets on the inside, but to kind of start it off here, going to come standard with the two recliner seats, okay? Again, options for you, theater seating is an option, or the two recliners come standard, okay? Make sure you check your options, as I've stated a million times. Um, we got some storage up overhead, and then also our next options that come available, okay? This is going to be the freestanding table and chairs, okay? Coming standard from the manufacturer is going to be those booth dinette, um, where it's got the two... Um, booth bench seating with the table all folds down into a bed this is obviously not going into a bed okay um on the back side here guys we're gonna have the uh pantry plenty of storage inside the pantry we got the big 12 volt refrigerator okay 11 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator um we've got storage galore up top of this rear kitchen and then also counter space galore okay one big deep farm sink with the residential pull down sprayer three burner cooktop gas oven, as well as your microwave and fume hood. And again, keep going across more and more counter space, 31 inch fireplace, 
We've also got the Furion system, interior, exterior speakers, um, and then also storage on each side of where your TV will go. Now, here's the wonderful thing, guys. Puma actually gives us an option whether we want to bring it in with a TV or without a TV, all right? Now, as I've said in many of my videos before, and I'll restate it again, if you can avoid it, do not buy the TV from the manufacturer, okay? It's not a smart TV. It is an LED TV, but it's not a smart TV, and they charge you a lot of money. For example, 32 inches is going to be $350 from the manufacturer, okay? So if you can avoid it, don't bring it in. If it comes standard in a package, hey, it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. But if it is an option, don't do it, okay? Now, to show you another option here, guys, here you're going to see that it's got the trifold sofa and we got storage up over top. Uh, Puma does this really cool thing. They got this little uh, neat little banner here. A lot of people buy it just for the banner. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but nonetheless, it does come with their campers as of this point right now. All right, guys, pretty standard inside the bathroom here. You're going to notice, obviously, you have your toilet, and you're also going to notice that we have a ton of storage on this side over here, okay? That goes all the way back to the back wall, so a ton of storage inside the storage compartment over here, as you can tell, very deep. Stepping into the shower, guys, you're going to notice it's got the skylight over the shower, max air fan up top, and you're also going to have um, plenty of room inside the shower as well, so cool features on that, too. All right, guys, now we're inside the master bedroom here. You're going to notice we've got storage on both sides. Also a countertop on each side as well for your phones and things like that. We've got a USB charging port as well as two 110 outlets over here. Um, and then finally, guys, I've said previously that this is 50 amp service prep uh, or 50 amp service with second AC prep for, uh, per se. Um, and so we have in here right now is just a vent. Um, we can put in that second AC if someone selected to do that. The people that bought this said, no, I'm okay, uh, but no worries. We can do it for you if that's what you want. Again, TV backer on the inside. We already talked about the TVs. Just make sure you don't put them in, if at all possible. Obviously, if you can't do it yourself, you might as well have them do it. But again, save the money if you can do so, okay? But back for it in here. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up here, guys, okay? So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. We'll always be here. We're always wanting to help. Again, to reiterate the beginning of the video, check for that price protection. Make sure you guys are being taken care of. Um, if you have any questions, though, give us a call. Number is 937-843-2074. We'll catch you next time, guys.